Let's have some beer. What be going down, people of the world? Thank you so much for joining me for yet another Daily Drink vlog. My name is Redbeard, and for the beer of the today... We've got a can of Hopsta La Vista India Pale Ale by the Long Slice Brewery. Oh yeah, another beer ordered online through the LCBO, another IPA, and another one that's not doing so good in the date department. So I really, really don't know if this is going to be good or terrible. It's apparently a hybrid IPA, so it's supposed to be kind of malty, but also pretty hoppy. We'll crack her open and see what we got, I guess, and kind of go from there. Yeah, I'm assuming a little darker. Yep. A little on the darker side. See if I can actually friggin' pour an entire can of beer into this in one shot. Look at me go. Look at me go. Look at me go. Victory! A picture of the victory. She's quite hazy. A little on the dark side, but, you know, not so dark that light can't permeate all the way through. Looks kind of nice, actually. Let's get the nose. It smells kind of sweet. I'm getting like a sweet malt aroma. I really don't know. Let's give her a shot. It's not bad, but I'm not getting really a whole lot of hoppy anything. Ah, how unsurprising. Let's do this. Cheers, everybody. It's like a little bit of bitterness there, but nothing crazy. I don't know what to say. Oh, I, I'm going to be so much more careful when I do my next LCBO online order, if I ever do one again. Why, well, hello there. I see you're holding a can of Hops de la Vista. I can't deny I like the name a lot. It's a pretty cool name. Excellent choice, my friend. You're obviously a person of impeccable taste and class. I bet you're smart, funny, and very well dressed too. On occasion, we here at Long Slice are a fun-loving brewing company, and we truly hope you enjoy this tasty brew. Cheers. Slide me a slice. 6.5%. This is this is Jimmy Pete. He likes rockin' beats and good times. He also made this recipe, Hops de la Vista, which is specially formulated to remind you that beer is awesome. You'll be back. Hey, what's the action? That's a... Uh, I can't deny I like your can design. Same time though, there's no ingredients or date on here. So, uh, yeah. I said it before. Ingredients? That's just me. You know, a few other people agree with me, but that's something I, I feel pretty strongly about. The date? A lot of people peel. peel. Yeah, we all peel very prongly about that. Especially with a frickin' IPA. Especially now that I know the LCBO will apparently just put that in the back of the warehouse and leave it, not even care. Like, hey, somebody ordered online. Go grab a can. Hasn't that, hasn't that been that high back there for a long, long time? I don't know. Who cares? It's money. Big corporate bastards. Uh, long Slice Brewery. Uh, .com? No, just longslice.com. Website is reminiscent of something I would have seen when I was like 15. It is pretty funny. Apparently they only make these two beers. Hop de la Vista and Loose Lips Lager. Like, all three. I want to say three. At least three. The Engineers, IPA number nine, and this one. Ah, someday, I hope to try them again. Fresh. Fresh. 
I guess I know that this is supposed to be a hybrid. I read that somewhere. Hybrid IPA perfectly balanced with the rich malty backbone of an English IPA and the fruity American hops of a North American IPA. Uh, sweet notes of honey, malted rye, chocolate, and papaya, and then leaves a bitter finish reminiscent of grapefruit and orange zest. I'm not getting any kind of grapefruity, orange zesty. No, not chocolate either. It's weird. I don't know what to say. Well, I know what to say. LCBO. Ah, bastards. It's not bad, but the overall flavor profile is very, very reminiscent of other IPAs that have been kind of sitting around for a while. There's kind of, there's an overall mouth presence that I, I don't know, I, I feel that I can kind of pick up on when an IPA is not fresh. Trying to think of a funny word to use there, but nope, nope, fresh works. Excuse me. Again, just all the maltiness there. Ratings! I realize, I believe like the last two ratings in a row perhaps, I read the untapped ratings and then didn't get into the other ones or something like that. I really, I'm sorry about that. I apologize, you know. I, I, I try to be so incredibly professional at what I do. Drinking beer. Serious shit. All right, untapped. We got 3,378 ratings overall and 3.58 out of 5. 69 IBUs. Nope. Not even close to what I'm getting there. Apparently it's dry hopped with Admiral and Comet hops for a uniquely fruity nose. Not getting that. Somebody's taste buds just orgasmed. I didn't know taste buds could do that. Like fill your mouth with taste bud semen? A bitter IPA, decent hops. God damn. Rate beer. 47 overall, 25 for the style. That's not great. Mm. Can't help but think this is a good ale on tap fresh, but the can version sublimates a lot of the freshness. Well, aren't you just Mr. Wordsmith? Sublimates, really? I, I don't, ah, uh, ah. Uh. It doesn't taste like an IPA, really. It's just, it's, it's weird. It tastes way more like an English style IPA than the American IPA that's supposed to be in there as well. In my opinion. Almost has like a sticky mouthfeel to it. Resinous. But not bitter. It's not really working for me. Beer Advocate, 83 overall, 29 ratings. Oh, look at this guy again. This guy has copied and pasted his review. The whole sublimates thing. This guy's over here too. Not impressed. Certainly not the best beer out there. Misses the mark in my opinion. Mm, not suggest buying it a lot. I'll have our own taste. Cheers. Yeah, yeah, that's that's a thing. Like, 
there's probably somebody out there that would think this particular beer that I'm drinking right now is mind-blowing for whatever weird reason. Not as off as that Royal City one. I can say that. It's nice. I mean, not terrible lacing on the glass. I need to get this going. I've been recording for 13 minutes. Ah. 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 Drink the blast. Ah. Long slice. This particular can of Hops de la Vista. Rating. Four and a half. It might have been a five and a half. I would have been a five and a half if you had ingredients and a date on it. Oh. That's not a fresh beer. And that's going to do it for today's Daily Drink Vlog. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, then smash that subscribe button. If you got something to say to me, smash that. No, I did, no, it was like, I did that again yesterday. I did that before yesterday. Really? Wow, if you like the button, smash the like button, the thumbs up button. Like, what the hell's wrong with me? And if you want to see more, then smash the subscribe button. And if you got something to say to me, put your comments in the box down below. Thanks again, and I'll be back with another Daily Vlog tomorrow. A peace out! Really fell apart at the end there.